Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when you are unable to install this update that is KV5065789 on your Windows 11 computer. Now, the first step is to start these services. Now, for this, type in services in Windows search box and then click on services. Now, find app readiness. Make a double click on app readiness. Set this to automatic. Click on apply. Click on start if highlighted. And then click on OK. Now find Windows Update in the list. Scroll down. Here you can see Windows Update. Make a double click on Windows Update. Set this to automatic. Click on Apply. Click on Start if highlighted and then click on OK. With this selected, make a right click and then click on Restart. Now find Background Intelligent Transfer Service. Make a double click. Set this to automatic. Click on Apply. Click on Start if highlighted. and then click on OK. With this selected, make a right click and then click on Restart. Now you can try to update Windows 11 once again. Just click on Retry Update over here. Now still not working. Pause and restart the update. Now for this, in Windows Update here you can see Pause. So you can hit Pause. This may take some time. And then once it is paused, now hit resume updates. So just pause and resume the updates and then you can check. Still not working. The next step is to run these two commands. These commands are provided in the video description. So copy this command type in cmd in windows search box make a right click on command prompt app and then make sure that you run this command prompt as an administrator click on yes to allow and then paste the command over here hit the enter key and this will take some time uh, once this scan is 100 percent complete uh, you can copy the second command copy this second command paste it on the same window hit the enter key once this second scan is 100% complete, then restart your computer. And after the system restart, you can check. Still not working. The next step is to use Microsoft Microsoft Update Catalog. For this, open this link in a browser. The link is provided in the video description. Over here, write down the name of the update, that is KB5065789, and then click on Search. Now over here, uh, you have to select the right version. So first of all, you can type in W-I-N-V-E-R, Winver in Windows search box and then click on Winver. And over here, you can see version 2.4H2. In my case, it's version 2.4H2. And you can check what kind of system you have. So you can go to system in Windows settings and then hit about. And then you will see, in my case, a 64-bit operating system. Now for me, it's Windows 11. Windows 11 version 24H2 x64 based system. This is the right one for me. If you have Windows 11 version 25H2, Windows 11 version 25H2 for x64 based system, then this is the right one for me. For me, it, this is the right one. So click on down, download. On this page now, click on 506 8, uh, 5789. Click on it. And let the download complete. Once the download is complete, you can click on this file and then you can install this update manually. So you can install it manually, then restart your computer and then check. Still not working. The next step is to use fix problems using Windows Update. For this, you can open Windows Settings, go to Windows Update and then click on Advanced option over here. And then go to Recovery option. Over here, you can see the option which says reinstall your current version of Windows fix problems using Windows Update. This will reinstall the current version of Windows. Your apps, files, and settings will be preserved. So click on reinstall now, and this process will take some time. And once this is done, you can check. Still not working. The last step is to use Media Creation Tool. Now for this, again, you can go to Microsoft website. The link is provided in the video description. Scroll down. Here you can see Windows Media Creation Tool. So you have to click on Download now. And then once the download is complete, uh, run this exe file. When you run this exe file, click on accept and then 
by default windows 11 would be selected click on next and then select iso file over here and then click on next you can save it to desktop save and let the download complete this process will take some time and once this is done click on finish and then let this close automatically do not close this manually let it close automatically and then you can go to desktop make a double click on windows iso file open windows iso file and then make a double click on setup file run setup file click on yes to allow and then click on next click on accept and here you can see ready to install by default the option to keep personal files in app would be checked when this is checked you will not lose any data on the computer so make sure this is checked and then hit install after this will take some time and after the installation you can check so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to update your windows 11 with with kb 5065789 successfully on your windows 11 computer so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel